Um, I thought we got beat because of Luton's enthusiasm and too many cheap giveaways from our from our boys, like in forward areas. Um, got good possession, um, good runners, you know, and uh, like lackadaisical attitude to release your man if you like, release the ball to your man. And I can count in my head 50 times where we turn the ball over in good areas. And I think like against a side that are as energetic and as bright as Luton are, um, naturally they'll punish you. And they punished us and they fully deserved their win today. First half seemed pretty even, but obviously the second half they scored three goals. And yeah. Would you put that down to? Um, even the first half I thought it was like a bit too open, probably for both sides, you know. We, we had some good chances and a good couple of times we could have just left it over the keeper and lobbed him where it was out. Uh, I thought Vyman should have squared it and sort of come off his heel after Rowe's shot. And, and Casey Palmer's had probably six scenarios where, do you know what I mean, a player of Casey's quality, you expect him to execute something. Um, so at half-time, um, we wasn't particularly happy with our defensive work but, but quite happy with the counter attack and, and the work that we've done in attacking areas. Second half, I just don't think we we done the basics well enough. It's just as simple as that really. I don't think they we didn't try, I don't think we got beat up, I don't think we got bullied. I just think that, that we didn't execute enough of our of our patterns of play and that came down to, to poor individuals um, quality on the day. Two goals, first two goals are a good example lose the ball high up the pitch it happens um, and obviously we've got eight or nine men behind that to defend it but but it was so easy to to give the ball to one of our men that uh, we've got runners and, and the red arrows ahead of them and then all of a sudden you now you're running 50 60 yards back towards going on international great play department um well i'd never want to use that as an excuse but, but i suppose the natural anxiety if you like from a coach is, is when Luton I think they had three internationals away I think we had nine didn't we um, so like sometimes you think the cohesion the, like the, a lot of travelling and, and I'm sure it plays a bit of a part but um, I don't think that played a bit of a part in us losing the game today I honestly don't Is the first away defeat of the season only for the club what kind of message have you given to the players afterwards I mean Still upbeat about it, in a way. Um, bounce back and and have a standard that we didn't show today. Uh, I got got a bit. Um, I went into sort of military talk. Really, I, I believe that sort of discipline and standards starts with your first action of the day. So I was talking to them, believe it or not, about making their bed in the morning and the standard of making your bed and the discipline, thoughts and actions that follow um, making your bed in the morning. And I, and I wonder how many of them actually make their bed. <laughs> or did this morning um, and, and and I know that seems a little bit deep but the point is that actually the hardest bit to do is the final bit so whether you've got hold of the ball wriggled and you're going to lay it off that's where the discipline comes in um, the, ac the action of the core that you do the work that you do on the training ground the sleep, the nutrition um, both in the execution of the final action and the transition and I thought that the second half, we didn't execute anywhere near enough, and we lost the day in transition to uh, to an enthusiastic Luton side. Is it always the plan to play Rodri, or just needs must give him the last half now? Nah, listen, we weren't doing enough. <coughs> you know I mean? It was like it's a little bit of uh, a risky one, but I thought he done well. I thought he looked bright. He was nearly on the end of a couple of things. He had a couple of shots, a couple of bits of interplay, made a couple of fouls that. Uh, let him off the hook a little bit, which is not ideal. Um, but for for a first twenty minute cameo and a side that's a good side that's not playing well, I thought he'd done well. Okay, good. So just one last one. Go Adam on. Nagy, how, how far away is he? Not close. No, very very frustrating. He, I think he's had an injection today that puts him out for at least ten days of doing nothing. He's a steroid. So he's not allowed to. I wasn't done with Hungary again, though, was it? I don't know, mate. I don't know. He went. He come back worse than he went. So whether or not, I don't know what he's done, what he hasn't done. Uh, yeah, maybe a few. We'll see.
Okay. I don't want to say too much. You know?